so this ballet that's happening or being produced uh, is uh, really interesting because these are really like jewels. You can see from this turtle here, they're like nature's little jewels. And uh, it'd be beautiful to have a ballet that um, highlights how beautiful these animals are and how important it is to conserve them and, and keep them in nature wild and not in captivity and to stop a lot of this, uh, you know, the poaching and, and uh, the bad stuff that's going on that's uh, endangering them. We are so happy to have been asked to collaborate and help with the first Turtle Ballet and also work with so many other turtle conservation projects across the globe um, to make this, this project a success. Um, we've been sending footage of turtles just like this uh, to try and help the artists understand the movements um, that might be required to, to really help translate how these amazing animals are such wonderful uh, ambassadors. Uh, it was a real challenge for me because I've never done this before. Uh, however, it was very interesting to learn about all these uh, turtles, the uh, wildlife, the different shapes, everyone is so different. Hudson River Park's River Project is excited about this production because it showcases ecologically important species native to New York City that don't often get time in the spotlight. The whole idea of a whimsical um, turtle with, with identification problems appealed to me and all of the, the angles of it, the ballet, the turtles, and the um, idea that there's diversity involved. There are things that are all close to my heart. I'm delighted to be on the advisory board, and I think it's what I've seen a beautiful production so far, and will absolutely highlight the enormous problems with turtle conservation throughout the world. On behalf of my friend, Ammo, an Amazonian red-footed tortoise, he and his friends are super excited that the ballet is at least temporarily uh, moving on from butterflies and swans to embrace a more substantial creature in God's world, the tortoise. I decided to do this to create more awareness, to educate, and just to help them and to help us. Turtles have been around for almost 200 million years and over those years they have learned to adapt to a variety of circumstances and environments like the oceans, freshwater, lands, even deserts. This is a very special project because it is the first time that the issue of the conservancy of the torus is addressed from an artistic point of view. I'm absolutely thrilled to be part of Fergus, the creation of the world's first ever ballet about tortoise conservation. During the period when I used to dance with Baryshnikov and Nuryov, and I always thought, you know, wow, I'd really love to dance like a turtle. And, you know, I realized there's 
ballets with flamingos and hedgehogs and horses, and there's even ballets with snakes. And I realized that turtles have a PR problem. There has to be a turtle ballet. And now they finally have their moment in the sun. The ballet is coming to you, and we couldn't be more supportive of this project. So turtles need to have better PR. Thank you.